Hey everyone, welcome back to Beginner's Guide of Data Science, ML, and AI. So lots of students ask me what's a good way of writing academic papers, get a submit to a journal, to a conference, or even write lecture slides. So today we're gonna to dive into this website called Overleaf. It allows me to use LaTeX to pretty much design any PDF you want. And I even designed my resume using LaTeX as well. So it's a very powerful tool and we'll dive into that today. Once you log in, you see this user interface on the left-hand side. You see all projects, your projects, things like that. If this is the first time you log in, obviously you're not gonna have these projects down here. We're gonna do new project. Once you click on new project, since we're talking about paper in this episode, I will usually go to view all. So type in archive, A-R-X-I-V, you'll be able to see these links. Now, typically, I just pick the first one. So click in there, and then you can see open as template. Click on that. You'll be able to see the user interface. On the left-hand side, there's a directory. This is where your files are. You can, of course, upload things if you want to, create a new folder if you want to, things like that. Down here, there's a file outline. Uh, these are the headings, the subheadings, you know, sections, subsections that you created throughout this PDF document. In the middle, you see this area. This is the coding area. The code or the computer language here is called LaTeX. You do need to know a little bit, like for example, the syntax to title is literally just slash title, and then you add curly bracket, right? Syntax for author is slash author, add a curly bracket. So we're not talking about difficult syntax, we're talking about just something that you need to remember. Uh, abstract is a little bit different, so you need to create an abstract object. So you say begin abstract, and then end abstract. Uh, so the lip sum is a template text that's in Latin that people usually add in. Uh, just kind of like a hello world example. On the right hand side, you see this is how the PDF gets rendered. So if I change something, for example, I can get rid of this, say this is my abstract. And then I click this button up here called recompile. I click on that. And then it will recompile this PDF, uh, taking into reflection of whatever changes I've done on the left hand side. You can zoom in, as you can see here, it says, this is my abstract. And then just introduce a couple of high level things. Sections, this is the sections of every heading that you can create. You can actually add however you want. For example, I can add something here in front of everything and say this is section one. Or you can also hit control enter or command enter. That will also recompile the document. So you can see here, section one. So this is an introduction of how you can get things started. Next, we're gonna come back, talk about equations.